Welcome back to Cryptos Are Us. I am George. We're all George. So what a day it has been so far for me personally and for Bitcoin. There are a couple things that are a little bit troubling for Bitcoin. New developments. What are they and should you be worried? Let's talk about it. First of all, right now, Bitcoin is right around 62.3. So a little bit weaker than recently. Although we have seen many little dips like that. Like here, 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 right? But Bitcoin is not gaining strength right now. Bitcoin is not going higher. And why is that, right? Why is Bitcoin not moving? Well, I think you guys know there's a couple reasons for this, right? And I've shared some. But today, something else, a little bit troubling. Fed Chair Powell is now saying there's lack of progress when it comes to curbing inflation, right? So this is, this is kind of him being hawkish now. He said before three rate cuts. Now maybe that's going to be trimmed to two. Or it's going to be pushed way back further in the year. So this is a little troubling now. Okay. A lot of people have been looking forward to the very first rate cut for years. And now he's saying there's lack of further progress. But of course, of course, we print so much money. We're giving out so much money, right? Of course, there's going to be inflation. And I've been mentioning about what's going on in the Middle East, right? If the U.S. gets pulled into the Middle East and what's going on in there and we show massive support, that means we as a nation need to borrow more money and print more money, which is going to be counterintuitive to Powell and, and everything he's been trying to do in terms of curbing inflation, right? So we, it's, it, this becomes an impossible job for him if the nation continues to print and borrow. That's simply it. So this is troubling. This is probably going to cause this market, uh, today's market to go down. But we'll see. But that is never a good thing. That's why Bitcoin is getting a little weaker. And it's because of do these two events. And because of these two events, ETF inflows have also wavered a little bit, right? We have seen massive inflows into the ETFs, but they're kind of stalling now grayscale is still selling but only fidelity and blackrock have been adding all the other ets have basically stopped so that is also a consequence of what's happening because of the fud that's around right and that's unfortunate that's a, that's very unfortunate because this is not the time to be Especially now, this is not the time to be worried about inflation. I mean, worried about Bitcoin. Well, short term, yes, I can understand. But long term, the implications of inflation is much, much worse. And we know that that is nothing better. OK, nothing better as a hedge than Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the ultimate hedge against inflation. And unfortunately, those people that are being driven out right now, OK, because of the volatility, you know what? They're going to miss out. They're going to miss out. Every single cycle, every single time we have some volatility, there are a lot of retail people that get driven out and they miss out on what comes next. Bitwise is saying exactly that, okay? That the market is underestimating the long-term impact of the halving event. Those of you guys that have lived through a couple of these cycles, you know most people do underestimate because what comes after having event is absolutely amazing. Okay, so this is kind of a <laughs> this is kind of a, a a graph of what comes after a having event. Since we have gone up so much, it's kind of hard to see in prior years. But look at this, right after the last having event, and here after the having event, after a having event is the most bullish time of of a four year cycle, right? And we are about to approach that. Here's something else. This is where we are. And look at all the previous cycles. What happened after a having event? You could see. It's pretty clear. Night and day, right? We have two years, not two years, two days left until the having event. And it is going to be wonderful, okay? There are people loading up. Mr. 100 has been loading up. This guy right here, no one knows, about $500 million purchase, 8,000 Bitcoin. K 
came out of Coinbase. Someone decided to go massive. Someone that someone probably realizes, yeah, what happens after having an event, right? So basically, bottom line is this. Even though I know it's a little fearful right now. I know that, right? Especially considering that we were at 70,000 just a week ago, and now we're down to 62,000. So more than 10%, right? But just know that every single cycle, we have these dips. The faster Bitcoin climbs, the more dips we have, right? And right now, there are a little bit of uncertainty. The Fed, how they're going to deal with inflation, can they deal with inflation, is a big one. But remember, I've been saying this, the ultimate hedge against inflation is Bitcoin. You need hard assets with scarcity, okay? They are the only things that hedge against inflation. Money, fiat, they're not scarce. There's unlimited amount of supply. There's more that could be printed anytime central banks or governments want to do so, right? They are not scarce, Bitcoin is. Okay, but of course, what's going on in the Middle East, it's unknown at this point, right? Everyone's waiting to see how is the U.S. going to get involved, right? Is the U.S. going to get involved? Is all war going to break out in the Middle East, right? We don't know. That's causing a lot of FUD as well, right? But you know, inflation is going to continue on and it's only going to get worse. So I know there's a, there, there's a few things driving FUD right now. And it can be scary. And some of the alts have been selling off. A lot of the memes have been selling off, although some are showing a lot of strength. But overall, this is not the time to be scared out. Bitcoin has gone through much worse. Most of you guys watching have gone through much worse times, okay? Because we're sitting at above $60,000, 62. dollars We could certainly pump up back to 70000 in no time since we were just there days ago. Things move very, very quickly in crypto, right? So this is why it's important to stay strong, stay focused, continue to DCA. So when things come back, you profit, buy low, sell high. That's really it. The last thing I want to talk about is, is my own experience. Real quick, real quick. I don't want to bore you guys with this, but let me show you this headline right here. Chaos in Dubai. Okay, heaviest rainfall in 75 years. 75 years and this is due to their own doing everyone tells me how great dubai has been right at least the first day was not bad but the last two days man what a nightmare today i spent over an hour just trying to cross the street because it's completely flooded ubers and taxis are not operational most are staying away it's been an absolute nightmare and you know this is self-induced because of their cloud seeding they cloud seeded a little bit too much. So a lot of the events that was supposed to happen yesterday and today canceled. And I don't even know about tomorrow, right? A lot of the damage is still done, like inside a lot of buildings. You know, you have, you have floods and carpets that are flooded and so forth. So I don't even know how Token 24-9 will be and how all these other side events will be. So it's kind of interesting that I happen to come here and we experienced the worst rainfall in 75 years. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just let you ponder upon that. <laughs> All right, guys, smash the like, subscribe to the channel, stay strong, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.